Hey, it's Chris with Illinois Agriculture in the Classroom. Welcome back to B-School. Today, before we get into the hive, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about feeding sugar syrup to bees. I've talked about this and referenced it in a couple previous videos, but never really explained why I'm doing this. The reason you feed sugar syrup to bees is because you want them to have a food source uh, during the entire season. Now you might wonder, right now there's flowers blooming everywhere, why would you still be feeding sugar syrup to them? The reason is because this is my hive's first year, and bees need to be creating beeswax to fill out their hive. And so if I take a frame, this has, this has been coated with a thin layer of beeswax to attract the bees to it, but they need to draw out the comb to make those honeycomb cells in order for the queen to have a space to lay the eggs and then also to store honey. That takes a lot of energy of the bees. And so by feeding them sugar syrup for essentially that entire first year of the hive, I'm gonna give them even more energy to be able to expand the hive and draw out that honeycomb so they can continue to grow from year to year. To make sugar syrup, I just mix equal parts sugar and water and warm it up on the stove until the sugar dissolves. So to make a gallon of sugar syrup, I would mix eight cups of water with eight cups of sugar, and then that's what I would add to the bees. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And like many things with beekeeping, there's a lot of different ways to give sugar syrup to your bees. I have a couple different examples of feeders here. One way to, to feed bees is to fill up a mason jar with sugar syrup, and then there's a board that you put the mason jar on and you slide it in the front of the hive and gives bees access to it there at the entrance of the hive. There's a couple advantages with this. Uh, you don't have to get inside the hive to add the syrup, and also you can see if the bees have sugar syrup or not and know when to add it. The disadvantage is you have to fill this up a lot because it doesn't hold very much. The, the feeders that I'm currently using look like this, and they actually fit down into the hive boxes and take up the space of about two frames, and I can just simply dump the sugar syrup into this container and allow the bees access. The inside of it has ridges, which give the bees something they can kind of hold onto with their legs and allow them to go down into there and uh, get that sugar syrup. The disadvantage with this is that it takes up room in the hive that you could otherwise have frames in. Also, sometimes bees drown in the syrup, and so it creates a, a hazard for some of the bees getting, getting in and out of there. The third type of feeder that I have used before actually sits on top of the hive, and then bees come up into this area and they get the sugar syrup that's filled in these two cavities. This holds a lot of sugar syrup, which is really nice. But as we've talked about before, bees really like minimal spacing inside their hive. And any space that's bigger than that, they will fill up with honeycomb, which is exactly what my bees from a few years ago did in this. You can see this is all filled with honeycomb, which makes it a lot harder for other bees to get in and out efficiently. And so again, there's advantages and disadvantages no matter which type of feeder you choose to use. Today I'm also going to be deciding whether or not I need to add another hive body to my hive. So this is what's called a medium super. You'll notice it's skinnier than the other hives, or the other hive boxes I have on there. This is specifically meant for bees to store honey. Part of the reason that it's thinner is that when this is full of honey, it's extremely heavy. So it's, it helps the beekeeper to have these boxes be a little bit lighter weight. So you can see I have frames in here ready to go. Uh, my other frames, if you remember, I use black foundation because I want to be able to see the eggs and the larvae more easily inside the frames. Since these are meant for honey, I don't really need to do that, and so I went with the yellow foundation for these because the black is unnecessary. So today, we'll look at the hive and see how, how much the hive is expanded, and we'll decide whether or not we need to add this box to the hive. So today, as we check on this hive, we're really wanting to do two things. First off, we want to add this gallon of sugar syrup to these, this hive so they continue to have some feed. And then we also want to check and see how quickly that they've started to fill up this second box. Because if it's full, that means we need to put on another box on top of this box uh, in order to allow this hive to continue to expand. Thank you. 
We just smoked them and we're taking out a few frames. They're everywhere. We may have to smoke them again. So we're working this hive. These bees are collecting on top. And so you can see if I just do a little bit of smoke, doesn't take much, but see how quickly they move down into the hive. So that's why we use smoke. Bust this apart. Here we go. Okay, we're making good progress. This part, perfect. They're getting agitated. We should probably smoke them. Now. So yeah, we will, we will smoke them to get them down before I put the second box back on. But before we do that, add we need to add our syrup. syrup. Now I told my dad that maybe we should add another sugar syrup container on the other hive. Now some bees may be drowning right now. Yeah, there's little ridges on the side of this to help them kind of crawl back out. And so hopefully they're okay. Try to hold it nice and still. Okay, let's go ahead and add one more box to this hive. Before we're done today, we have one more job we need to do though. Okay, so we're going to take the entrance reducer out because you can see they're all kind of waiting in line to get in and out. So that's why we have to take it off. So when a hive is weak, we want to reduce the entrance so they have less to protect. Now that this hive is really strong, we can take it off and give them full access here. Which I just have, I just need a minute. There you go. Okay, just pull that out then. Okay. And I'm going to set this somewhere. Well, I'm going to set it. Oh, um, I'm just going to set it right there so they can make their way back into the hive. 